Welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the most versatile and also powerful inbuilt function within PySpark, which is transform. What is transform function? Transform is one of the inbuilt function provided by PySpark library. This is coming under PySpark.sql.functions. With the help of this uh, transform, we can apply custom transformations to single or list of columns or all the columns within a data frame. And also, we need to chain many such transformations. Then, during those scenarios, transform function is very efficient and comes handy. It is actually allowing us to apply element-wise operations using lambda functions or applying a logic at the entire column level. So, making our code more concise, readable and efficient. Usually, User-defined functions are not recommended in PySpark development. I have already posted one video why it is not recommended. Basically, it is having context switching between Java platform to Python platform. So that is the reason it is going to hit the performance. But the coming to transform function, this is actually optimized internally. So this is not having any performance bottleneck. This is processing uh, the transformation more efficiently. Coming to advantages of transform function first one is modularity within the transform function we can actually break down the complex transformations into smaller reusable components so this modular approach makes it easier to manage and maintain our code so instead of writing monolithic functions to handle complex and multiple tasks we can create small single purpose functions that can be combined in various ways to achieve the desired output and second advantage is readability. Code readability is crucial, especially when working in collaborative environments. The transform function along with lambda expressions makes our transformations very clear and easy to understand. This readability means anyone looking at our code can quickly grasp what each part of the transformation is doing. So reducing the learning curve and also potential for errors. So as a result, it is improving troubleshooting and debugging in PySpark development. And the last advantage is reusability. The transform function promotes reusability by allowing us to apply the same transformation logic, same uh, modular function across different data frames within a particular use case or within different use cases within a project or within multiple projects within organization. So, we can uh, split the logic into separate uh, user-defined function and we can put all the commonly used such functions into one of the utility notebook and that notebook can be called. In this way, we can use, we can reuse the existing logic. So this uh, reusability not only boosts our pro productivity but also ensures consistency across our data processing task. And coming to use cases, let's see what are the potential use cases we can go for this transform function. First one is data cleansing. Data cleansing is one of the prerequisite or you know very basic uh, uh, need in most of the data engineering projects. So the transform function is uh, more suitable to remove unwanted characters from a string or you know handling uh, white spaces or trimming the white spaces handling null data, populating missing values, handling duplicate data, or uh, making the data more standard uh, in terms of data types. Now, these are, you know, kind of uh, data cleansing operations we used to perform in all the data engineering projects. So, this is more suitable uh, for these kind of use cases. We can create uh, separate user different functions to handle uh, missing values, to handle duplicate value. Then, that can be used across different use cases. Next one is data transformation. In case our uh, project, our notebook is having lot of complex transformation logic, then instead of, uh, instead of uh, creating monolithic um, uh, logic, we can segregate the logic into separate uh, modules. Then uh, it is more uh, readable and also for debugging and troubleshooting, this will uh, help. So, when we have complex transformations, it's uh, better to go with transform function. Basically, it is allowing us uh, to transform our data in a flexible and efficient manner. 
so making it more suitable for wide range of applications and the next thing is future engineering now this is more suitable for machine learning related use cases in machine learning uh, data in machine learning models future engineering is one of the very important concept in terms of training so uh, in the quantum in the context of machine learning transform function can help to create new features from the existing data such as extracting elements from a text creating interaction terms or normalizing values so this is actually enhancing our data set and improving the performance of our models so these are the common use cases we can go with transform so i hope you understood you know what is the use of uh, transform function now uh, let me get into demo i have logged into my databricks environment my cluster is up and running and i have created a notebook for this demo and in the first cell i am going to create a sample data frame for this demo which is having three columns and three rows product name price and category and in the next cell i have created a sample code to explain this transform function here in my original data frame i want to create one calculated uh, column which is going to calculate discounted price based on the price column it is going to calculate 90 percentage of this price that is my requirement actually i can apply this logic directly in my data frame that is regular or traditional approach but coming to this transform i have segregated that logic into separate module which is called transform underscore function within that i am uh, adding uh, logic of uh, cal calculated column so this uh, model is going to return new data frame with calculated column right so here in order to apply that logic we have to use the keyword transform transform is higher order function higher order function is nothing but this is one inbuilt function but this is accepting another function as input parameter which is called higher order function so in this case transform this is accepting input parameter of another function transform underscore function right let me execute this uh, cell and we can see how it works here from our original data frame it has uh, added new computed column which is discounted price which is 90 percentage of this price so uh, 90 percentage of this 100 which is 90 so we can see the output so this is simple example in my next example i am going to show how to use this transform function with parameter so for that i am going to create sa same sample data frame and i am going to create another module transform function which is accepting input parameter of uh, data frame and also it is accepting another parameter which is discount price in our previous exercise we have directly given 90 percentage as uh, calculation but coming to this uh, exercise i am going to give uh, the percentage in a variable i have defined i am defining that variable in one of the variable percentage equal to 20 then in order to call this particular uh, uh, logic basically we can use different approaches in this example i have uh, covered three different approaches in the first approach i am calling transform by passing the parameter of user defined function and the parameter uh, which is you no know, percentage this is a data frame this will by default it will go as one of the parameter and the next uh, parameter for that directly i am passing value of 20 with the help of this percentage variable so let me execute this one then we can see the output here we can see our original data frame and also the transformed one so here i am giving percentage of 20 so this 20 is actually uh, detected from 100 percentage which means 80 percentage of the price is applied for discounted price i can change this parameter i can control this parameter for example i am giving 10 then i am executing once again now we can see it's applied 10 percentage of detection to the original price and this is the first uh, method to call uh, transform function with parameter and in the second approach i am going to use i am going to give the variable name as well now this uh, discount percentage that is the input parameter for our module that also we can mention then equal to i am going to give certain value i am here i am giving with the help of variable percentage so this is another way so let me execute it's going to produce same output right and the third approach is lambda approach 
this is uh, more suitable in case we have to apply uh, the logic at element level which means in a particular uh, particular uh, column you know in case we have to apply uh, for each and every value then we can go with lambda you know for this expression we have to give transform within that we have to use lambda then the input uh, data frame then we have to call the uh, module which is our user event function then we have to pass the parameter of df and the percentage this is how we have to uh, use lambda expression for uh, transform function this is another approach i am executing now and we can see the same output so i hope you understood what is transform function how to use that and uh, how to use with different parameters as well right so in in my next um, uh, cell i am going to show you the difference now how our code looks like without transform function and with tra transform function now you are going to see the real benefit of this transform function let's say i am having one data frame related to transaction and i have to apply many transformations to that so here this is our traditional approach directly on top of data frame i can apply all the transformation logic coming to this approach this is not more readable and also it's not good for uh, debugging and troubleshooting but coming to uh, a uh, transform approach in the in my next cell what i have done is i have splitted all the logic into separate modules this is more readable here we can see you know i have created a separate uh, uh, function for all the logic e this is you know easily anyone can understand now this particular logic it is actually converting uh, to date one of the column it is converting to date another one is it is extracting year it is extracting month it is uh, getting the length of a particular field and we are uh, calculating absolute amount you know basically you know all the logic it is segregated then finally we are simply calling everything one by one with the help of transform function this is how we are chaining together all our custom transformations so if you look at uh, the previous cell here we have combined all the logic directly this is not more readable even though this is having lesser lesser uh, number of lines but still it is not readable and this is not recommended here no one can understand easily uh, you know because we have combined a lot of transformation in one place let me execute this cell we can see the output here we can see all the calculated columns are created to the original data frame and in my next exercise i am going to execute this is also going to produce the same output but in this uh, cell the code is more readable here we can see and uh, anyone uh, you know uh, any new joiner wants to learn this particular logic they can easily learn with the help of these segregated modules and in case we have to make some changes to any particular logic we don't need to uh, touch the main data frame directly we can change only in that particular module but in the previous approach in case we have to make some changes we are going to mess up in between these logic so this is the advantage and again this is one of the simple notebook i have uh, created for this demo but in real time project we are going to have even more complex uh, logic transformations so you will see actual benefit during that uh, development and in my last uh, exercise i am going to show uh, one of the uh, real time uh, 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 use case which is data cleansing use case so here i am going to create one sample data frame within the data frame i am going to apply various data cleansing rules like you know handling the null values you now for that i am going to uh, populate uh, missing values for that i am going to give default value in case name is missing then it should be populated with unknown so i am defining all the variables with the default values then later i am going to populate those missing values with uh, with the help of one function which is handling null and i am creating another uh, mo module which is uh, going to uh, remove the duplicates and in another user defined function i am going to standardize all my uh, data types and uh, in another um, uh, function i am going to filter uh, filter out unwanted records and in another logic i am going to calculate bonus and uh, in another logic i am going to apply aggregate functions now i have segregated all my logic uh, data cleansing related logic into separate modules then finally i am calling them in my original uh, transformation so for that wherever needed you know i am applying lambda function in certain cases i am applying at uh, data frame level for example removing duplicate it's not any particular column or uh, value level so we don't need to use lambda so uh, i am uh, applying all the logic in uh, one place 
it's going to perform a data cleansing operation for my incoming data. I am executing and we can see the output here. This is my cleaned data. So this is one of the real time uh, use case I have created for this demo. I hope you understood what is transform function and uh, what is the benefit of that, how to use how to use a simple transform transform function without parameter and also how we can call transform with with parameter so i have covered um, you know these uh, different exercises i hope you understood if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest uh, videos on databricks thank you